Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from Kona Brewing in Hawaii. This is Kona Brewing's um, Cocoa Brown. So this is a, I like uh, interesting play on words. So the cocoa, you think coconut or chocolate, and it's brown. And this is actually, this is roasted with uh, toasted coconut. It's brewed with toasted coconut in the, in the beer. And it has a definite initial, it smells like a brown ale, but it definitely has hints of coconut. It pours fairly light for a brown beer. Take a first sip. It's got a, uh, a thin head. I don't imagine it's gonna last too long. Mm, that's good. It's very, it's got the malty nuttiness of a regular brown ale, but it has that good coconut note. It's more than a hint, but it's not overwhelming. This is a pretty cool kind of bottle, consistent with Kona Brewing's uh, other labels. The guy on a surfboard, I don't know what the volcano or the, the island behind them. So the, uh, let's see, see we got some stats on this beer. This is 5.5% ABV. Forty-five IBUs. I'd say that's that's pretty accurate to what I'm tasting. It does have some bitter notes and it does have some sweet notes, but it's neither bitter or sweet. So I'd say forty-five is pretty a pretty good. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good indicator of how bitter it is. Like I mentioned before, this is a brown ale. Uh, the price on this was eight ninety nine a six pack. That's uh, I think that that's a fair price. Um, this is available January through April, so this just came out. I'm shooting this in January here, and uh, Coco Brown is named after Coco Head and Coco Crater in Oahu, Hawaii, which I'm not sure. If See if it says on here if Kona Brewing is in Oahu. Oh, it's in Kona. That uh, duh, that makes sense. It's in Kona, Portland, Oregon, and uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I like. I mean, their stuff is. It's not. As far as craft beer goes, it's one of the more mainstream. Craft beer—it's almost like a—it's almost like an island version of Sam Adams. It's pretty much everywhere, maybe not quite like Sam Adams, but it's—it's it's in a lot of places. <clears throat> I've seen it on draft a number of places. Um, I have not seen the Cocoa Brown though. This is my first time having the Cocoa Brown, and I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. The bottle's got some cool things. It's got the—it's uh, got in the glass. It's got the chain of islands, the archipelago, which is a chain of volcanic islands. And it says liquid aloha in the in the glass. It's pretty pretty cool. You see, this is it, it's it's not very dark. It's definitely not. It's more reddish brown than it is you know brownish black. As you get through it, there's light lacing on the glass. Not, not, nothing nothing too crazy. As I have a few more sips, the flavors develop a little more. It's a little more caramely malty notes, and that coconut is still kind of there consistently throughout. Not too dissimilar from the uh, the Dirty Little Freak. So this is either the second or third brown ale in a row, which is kind of how it happened. Um, we've got some other interesting stuff coming up. 
Um, I might, might do another one tonight, too, depending on how I'm feeling. But uh, this is good. I, I would say for eight ninety nine a six-pack, value-wise, it's not... I wouldn't say it's a great value for this beer. I actually got it on sale. I paid four ninety nine a six pack. Um, it was on sale at Total Wine. They've been running sales alongside Publix. So this week they have a Beta on sale for four ninety nine a six pack. I mean Publix is doing the buy one get one. So it's pretty cool to see that they're they're keeping up with that. So and it lets me try some different stuff that I might not otherwise try because the price was right. And uh, this is definitely one I'll leave you leave in the fridge for when I'm not in the mood for something heavier or something. Uh, you don't really need to savor this because it's not hard to get or there's nothing too special about it. But it's just a good beer. It's good. There's actually more more lacing than I than I expected on the glass. Very easy drinking, not too heavy. I would say I'm gonna have to give this beer a 3.75. It's not uh not special enough to be a four or anything like that, but it's better than a three and a half. So I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Also, started. I was in Total Wine, and I saw they had like a piggy bank with a plexiglass front to put your bottle caps in. And I thought that's a fun idea. So I have a ball mason jar, and uh, I thought I'd start putting different caps in the mason jar. So we got a couple in there already. Let's see what we got? We got a uh, Lagunitas. We got a Dewclaw, another Dewclaw, a Beta, and now Kona. So, I figure that might be kind of a fun thing to do. I'm going to try to not do doubles, so I might take the other Dewclaw out of there and have all unique bottle caps in the, in the uh, mason jar. Maybe we'll do an episode, maybe we'll read them all off and do an episode of which... Uh, which beers they represented. Anyway, until next time, cheers.